Hello dear Acoustics Fellows, in this video we will explain and present how to measure a velocity profile with a UVP, Ultrasonic Velocity Profiler. Our instruments measure velocities through the Doppler effect, when acoustic scatterers are moving relatively to the transducer's position, the backscattered signal frequency will be shifted compared to the emission frequency. For UVP instruments, which use the monostatic modus, the same transducer emits and receives the backscattered signal. Thus, the Doppler frequency is representative of one component of the velocity vector, namely the projection on the transducer axis, which is equal to the sound speed times the Doppler frequency divided by twice the emission frequency. The received backscattered signal is sampled, which can be represented by slices of the acoustic B, and results in the measurement of this velocity in each slice or cell, leading to a velocity profile. For more details, you can have a look at the video What is a Profile, which link is in the description. This defines the spatial resolution along the acoustic beam. For the lateral resolution, See the video about the acoustic beam shape, the link is also in the description. For each cell, NP samples are collected at a frequency of PRF, pulse repetition frequency. All those samples are then used to estimate the Doppler frequency in the cell. This measurement lasts NP divided by PRF seconds and results in an instantaneous profile measurement. Then. It is possible to measure a block of NAVG instantaneous profiles to get an arithmetic average of measured profiles. The delay required to measure one average profile is equal to NP times NAVG divided by PRF. These parameters define the time resolution. The pulsed coherent Doppler measurement method UVP comes with one main limitation called the Nyquist limit. This limitation influences both the maximal distance over which you can measure a profile and the maximal velocity range. Indeed, between burst emissions at pulse repetition frequency, the signal needs to have the time to come back to the transducer at sound speed. Thus, the maximal depth is equal to the sound speed divided by twice the pulse repetition frequency. Also, when estimating the Doppler frequency, if the pulse repetition frequency, which is the sampling frequency, is too low, the nyquist shannon theorem will come into play and the observed frequency will be biased compared to the actual velocity. Thus, the maximal velocity range is equal to the sound speed times the pulse repetition frequency divided by twice the emission frequency. Depending on the available parameters of your UVP, the position of this range can be shifted by setting, for example, a minimal velocity value. Then the measurable velocity will be within the range minimal velocity value and minimal velocity value plus maximal velocity range. By combining both equations, we can see that both maximal ranges are dependent and constant for a given emission frequency. Thank you for your attention. We hope this helps you in understanding UVP velocity measurement and its parameters. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us. The link is in the description. Bye.